Hey guys, so in today's video, I wanted to give you guys some resume tips. I recently was talking to someone at my job who is in nursing school and is graduating in May and was working on her uh, resume and so she was kind of asking for everyone's like tips and tricks and things that they recommend and um, I ended up actually going to my manager and asking her directly like what do you look for in a resume when you are hiring people and she gave me some really great tips so I wanted to share those with you guys. Um, the first thing she said is of course you want to include your education obviously. <laughs> um, the next thing is um, your work experience. So um, not just like relevant nursing experience, but like in the past, she said go up to like 10 years if you you know have 10 years of experience. And make sure you include the dates of when you worked, you know, if you worked from July 2012 until March 2015, make sure you include those dates in there because those are, they look at those things to see how long you've worked at a place where you're bouncing around, all of those things. Um, the next thing that she said is if you are a new grad, she likes when you include your clinical experience, which I didn't do, so I thought that was interesting. And if you have any volunteer experience, she says that is big because, you know, a lot of times when you're a new grad nurse, you don't have any nursing experience, obviously, and so your clinical experience and volunteer experience are huge. The next thing is to include any additional qualifications you may have. So if you are ACLS or BLS, or if you have like telemetry monitor training or anything like that that's related to nursing or maybe you're bilingual put those in like a, at the end like additional qualifications I also asked her about references you know some people ask like me should I include my references should I not personally I don't um, she said no that's not really needed because if that's kind of a given if you are if they want references they can ask you for references you can always put like references available upon request or something like that in your resume, but she says that's kind of a given. So those are like some just quick brief tips that she told me and I thought I would share them with you guys because I thought they were really great and to hear it from a manager's perspective who does hiring and has hired several new grad and experienced nurses. I thought those were some great tips. If you guys want a um, free resume template to download, go down to the link below. It's actually my legit resume that I used to apply to the ICU job that I'm currently working. I just took out any like hospital identifiers or like my address, phone number, all those things. So you can see my exact resume and it has most of the things that she talked about on there. So check it out. Thank you guys for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next time.